Welcome to the Florida Keys. Good morning. Oh my God, I'm at LAX. I'm about to board my flight. So excited to see all my babes that wander. I think we're gonna have a great time. Got my coffee. Just trying to fuel up for the five hour, five hour nonstop flight to Miami. I don't do well on long flights, but got plenty of work to do, books to read, I think we'll be okay. To get to the Florida Keys, you can either fly straight into the Keys or to save a little money, you can fly into Miami and drive from there. We decided to do the latter. The drive from Miami to Hawks K was about an hour and a half. Yeah. Getting a little blown away out here, to be honest. Calm it down. Welcome back to my channel. If you are traveling to the Florida Keys, I'm so excited. This is a place that I have never been in the United States. I just wanted to cross this off my bucket list, but never have it. So I'm here this week with the Florida Keys Tourism Board and also all my girlfriends in the Babes That Wander. So we are gonna have four fun-filled days of sand, sun, and just stunning views. I mean, we've only been here for a couple hours and I'm just blown away at how beautiful it is here. We just got checked into Hawks K Resort, which, and this is where we're gonna be for the first two nights. Now, Hawks K is about halfway down the Keys, very close to the Arathon. This is an amazing resort. If you're looking for a place to come and check out the Keys that's sort of central to the Keys, this is a great option. Whether or not you're coming here with your family or with some, a group of friends or your partner, this is gonna remind you guys back to when we first got here. We've already checked out the pool area and a little quick tour of our villa here. See you guys back here in a little bit. We arrived a little bit early for check-in, but they were totally okay with us checking out the pool while we waited for our villa to be ready. We ordered some tacos and relaxed. What do you think, guys? Not, not bad for the, a day in the office. <laughs> I love this little man-made beach area they have here. I was surprised to learn when I got to the Keys that there aren't a whole lot of beaches in the Keys. So it's nice that Hawks K has this option if you would rather a beach feel over a pool feel. There's a lot of dock pictures that were taken on this trip, and I had no idea how many, but first of many right here. Hawks K also has like a dolphin experience where you can go and feed the dolphins and play with them. I didn't get to do this. I was very sad. Dolphins are my favorite animal. Oh my God, they're posing for a picture. I can't even. Here is a little house tour of our villa here at Hawks K. This is our lovely kitchen. Here we have one of the three bedrooms. Kitchen, I freaking love how they folded the little towel animals. Half bath down here. Actually, no, this is not a half bath. This is a full bath. Here is the living space. Y'all, look at the view out here. Little patio back here with a lounge, a little table. Let's go upstairs. Here is the second bedroom. You've got two double beds, TV, nice little closet, patio right out here, a bathroom in here for this bedroom. This is the room I think I'm gonna claim the master. Nice big bed, big closet, a TV, more drawers, and big bathroom. The thing to love about it is this balcony. I could get used to this. After a little bit of leisure time, I got ready for a night out with the girls. Everyone was arriving and it was time to get this Babes That Wander trip started. I go to get, grab some dinner on the resort here. And this is the outfit for the day. What do we think? Brand new dress from a brand that I don't know how to pronounce, which I'll put right down there. And I feel very um, summer mermaid vibes with all the jewelry. I'll link all of what I'm wearing down in the description box if you're interested in fashion. And um, let's go to dinner because I'm hungry. Angler and Ale is one of several awesome dining 
options that you have on the property at Hawks K. I would say it's like an upscale, casual vibe. It's right out here on the water. They have some robot waders, which was very fascinating for us all, and a really beautiful view off of their balcony. Yet another dock picture in progress, you know, we can't resist. Everyone has arrived. We're all in the keys now. Everything was so amazing. We love these conch fritters and the ahi tacos. I also really loved my entree, which is a scallop dish that was a special. All the food here was so yummy. I know, it's like a Disneyland tram. They also have this awesome tram that runs around the property to help you get around so you don't have to walk everywhere. This is VIP service. Yeah. Yeah. Why walk seven minutes when you can ride the Disneyland tram? Woke up the next morning bright and early to start our day, took a short drive for breakfast before starting our Key West adventures. But the drives here are always so beautiful. For breakfast, we headed into the Hungry Tarpon restaurant on Robbie's Marina. This place is so awesome. They're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you'll find a bunch of $1 bills stapled everywhere. I guess the legend has it that the men that work on the fishing boats would come and they would staple one dollar bills to the bar so just in case they ever came in and needed a drink they would have some money well, good morning we are at breakfast bright and early getting some sustenance <laughs> have a secret. go snorkeling this morning and we're at this really cool little waterfront like, bar like for breakfast but i feel like this would be a super cute spot to come Get drinks later, watch the sunset. So, it's gonna stop us from having mimosas though. No, thank you. Doesn't look like much, but it's a lobster frittata with hollandaise sauce. It's gonna be good, I hope. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good Bloody Mary. <laughs> Ooh, it's like a meal and a drink. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things you can do at Robbie's Marina is feed the tarpon, which is a fish. So they give you a bucket of fish to feed bigger fish in the water. But these pelicans, man, they want your fish. Okay. Ah! He's very adamant. Okay, fish. Thank you. Not supposed to feed the pelicans, but they are really aggressive and they're really trying hard to get over on our buckets. Just slightly terrifying. Hey! Ah! Our snorkeling got pushed back a little bit, so we decided to hit up the pool at Hawks K, but we went to the adults only pool because, you know, we are ladies who like our peace and quiet. And luckily, if you're staying at Hawks K, they have this beautiful Oasis K where only adults 21 and up are allowed, and it is very serene and very nice. Right after breakfast, but it's a little bit windy this morning, so they pushed our swimming lane. 
second back to 1 p.m. Hopefully the wind dies down a little bit by then. Until then we're just here at the adults' home. It's so nice and quiet here. It's very chill. No children. Order a couple cocktails. We're just going to relax. And also shoot a bunch of content because... The babes at Wander happen to be working with Aerie on this trip, and big thanks to Aerie for these cute suits that we are all wearing all throughout the trip. Getting the shot. Getting the shot. We're getting it. We're kicking our leggies. <laughs> After some fun by the pool, we headed back to Robbie's Marina, not to snorkel, it got completely canceled because of the wind, but instead we decided to do an activity that works with the wind, parasailing. Oh, the manatees are right here, just so you know. They're oh. That you call up when you're down. Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets. Can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride? Cause I wanna be close. Greta? Let's get high. tried parasailing before definitely recommend booking an excursion like this while you're in the Florida Keys it was so incredible to be so high above the ocean you can look down and literally see animals in the water from way up there and it's actually so quiet and so peaceful and serene while you're high up in the air like that just was such a surreal moment and just made me so grateful for being able to travel I don't know After that blood pumping experience, it was time to take a chill pill. So we headed to Isla Meralda Brewery and Distillery, which is a local brewery and distillery here in the Florida Keys. They distill a couple different types of alcohol, vodkas, gins, rums, things like that. They also have some beers that they brew as well. So definitely worth checking out. Okay, so we're here at Isla Meralda Brewing Company. This is a local distillery here in Key West, well, the Keys, in Isma, Isma, Isma Meralda, I think I'm saying that right. It's a really awesome little local spot to check out. You can come do a free tasting of their spirits, which we're going to do in a bit. You can order drinks. They've got an indoor area and this really awesome little back outdoor area where we're hanging out. Super shady. It's really nice back here and seems like a really fun place to come spend an afternoon and grab a drink or two. I love that with their flights, you could do a mix of beers or their pre-batched cocktails. So you really can have some flexibility to try out a bunch of the different stuff. Here's what I chose. The frozen key lime pie drink here is amazing. <laughs> Mm. And the, this one and that one for sure. So this one, the original, we use just orange peel, juniper and coriander. And this hibiscus gin, we add, uh, in addition to the juniper, coriander, and orange peel, vanilla, cardamom, and hibiscus flowers, and then butterfly pea flowers. This gives us this lovely blue flower Ooh. color. And this is actually also what makes it change colors. So when we taste this one, it'll try by itself, and then try with a little lime in it. And I did purple. Wow. The more that you see. have, the more color change you will get. It's a magic trick. It's a magic trick. Oh. I mean, anything that you add lime to, right? It's gonna look like key lime. <laughs> yeah, they are actually. But when you do have to squeeze them, it is it's not blue. Fun. But when we do the shaken martinis that we make, this key lime pie martini. That's everyone's favorite. And now favorite. it's purple! Yeah. yeah. But it's 
For dinner, we headed right down the street, literally a two minute drive to Marada Bay Beach Cafe and Bar. at the distillery we went literally two minutes down the street to this beautiful beach bar and cafe called La Mirada. it's so beautiful so I think this is another um, restaurant right here which is stunning we are over there this fun little colorful spot um, and the view is beautiful it honestly feels like you're in a totally different place like maybe an island in the Caribbean or in the Bahamas it just feels like you're not in Florida anymore in the best way I mean not the Florida is not beautiful but you feel like you're somewhere even more exotic than in the keys, so view is top notch. Not me frantically packing. for our time here at Hawks K. We're gonna head over down to Key West for the next two days. So I'm so excited to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for part two in Key West. Time to pack it up and get it on the road.